If you are struggling with your clients' feedback and they always come back to you with irrelevant comments, then keep watching because this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Peter from FileStage and in this video I'll share with you 5 top tips that will help you ask feedback from your client and make your feedback process more effective. First things first, the project you're working on is probably constantly on your mind. Your clients though, they might need a little refresh of memory to remember all the small details. To avoid any confusion and make the feedback on point, you can remind your clients of the brief before leaving the feedback. Here are two ways FileStage can help you refresh the memories of your client about the brief. Include a link to the brief in the comments and give your client everything they need to give informed feedback in one place. Introduce your work by recording and attaching a loom that talks through how your content meets the brief. The second tip is about expressing yourself. Whatever project you're working on, there's always some part you're most passionate and proud of. Don't be shy to pinpoint those parts of the work for your clients. You focus their attention on it and it sparks great conversation. Here's how you can use FileStage to emphasize on those specific parts of your work. Zoom, rotate and drag to hone in on every detail of your work. Click anywhere to create a marker and add a comment. Highlight a specific word or sentence. Draw annotations to make it clear exactly which parts you're talking about. After showing the clients what you like, you need to make clear on which parts you would like their opinions on. It's a fact that every project carries some difficult parts that needs more time and client input to polish. By asking your clients for feedback on those specific parts, you make sure that your visions for the projects are in line. Here are some things you can ask your clients to pay more attention on when giving feedback. Is your work in line with the brand guidelines? Will your client achieve the right goals with the current form of work? Are you solving the right problems for your clients? Are there any compliance or regulatory constraints to have in mind? The next tip is really crucial. Hear me out. You should give your clients a transparent way to share feedback. By giving your clients a transparent way to share their feedback, you are giving everybody the possibility to constantly track the project's progress. With FileStage, your clients can leave their feedback right on top of your work so everyone can see the feedback and follow up on it by leaving additional comments or replies. And the last tip for today, set due dates to make sure that feedback and approval arrives on time. If your client's review process is well set up, there will be multiple review rounds before reaching client's approval. And for the project to meet the deadlines, it is crucial that you receive feedback on time so that you can make changes and share new versions of your work. In FileStage, you can plan the review process timeline and define due dates for each version of your work. This way, your client will receive reminders to leave their feedback before the deadline and you'll be able to manage your review process without any stress. Now you're good to go to start asking your clients for feedback. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips about content review and virtual collaboration. Bye.